Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Swan. If you're new here, I like to talk about luxury handbags, shoes, accessories, all sorts of things like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, feel free to come and join our luxury family. Honestly, I just wanted to have a little chit chat today. Um, I want to talk about the Hermes journey. And this is not like going to be a video bashing the Hermes journey or like bashing, bashing people who decide to go through it and who decide to um, like build relationships with a sales associate, all that stuff. Um, this is not going to be that type of video. I am just going to explain why I personally don't plan on having an Hermes journey. Um, I personally don't really plan on shopping at the boutique. I, I have one that's kind of close to me, but I'm going to explain everything. But um, yeah, it's not going to be a video that's like bashing people who do choose to have an Hermes journey. So I've been purchasing bags pre-loved for like six or seven years or so. Um, I've actually purchased pre-loved bags before then, but like not on a consistent basis. So I have always loved buying pre-loved bags. I've bought a couple of like brand new bags before in the store. I bought like the Dior saddle bag. I bought that brand new. Um, Louis Vuitton, never full. I bought brand new. It's a limited amount of bags that I bought brand new, okay? It's, it's a very small number. And so it's not surprising that like I'm not trying to go into the Hermes store and go buy something brand new. The reason that Hermes is a bit different is because the reason that I purchase things on the pre-love market for other brands is because of the price difference. So normally I'm able to save money buying it pre-loved. Um, if I go to buy a Chanel Classic flap, it's going to be cheaper pre-loved than it is considering it's not something that's rare. Uh, like if it's like a rare color or something, that's a different story, but just a regular like black Chanel Classic flap. I'm going to go to the pre-loved market because it's going to be cheaper used than it is brand new. Obviously that's a little bit different with Hermes. If you're not as familiar, typically you'll have to be offered a Birkin or Kelly in the store um, and they won't just like let you buy one without purchase history. Sometimes people do get lucky and so this, sometimes that is not the case and they're able to go in and get one. Um, but oftentimes you do have to build a relationship with a sales associate, build up your purchase history in order to be offered the bag that you want. So for that reason, Hermes bags tend to go for a lot more money on the pre-loved market, especially like the closer to new that they are. So if you were to go in and purchase a bag from Hermes, like a Kelly or a Birkin for around $10,000 at the store, and then you went to go resell it online, you could, I mean, you could get like 15, 20, like it's, it's, it'll go up depending on what you have, obviously, but like it'll be quite a bit more than what you paid in store. So from a price standpoint, it's, kind of better to get it from the store um but also you have to factor in that they're looking for a purchase history from you now first reason that i don't plan on shopping at the hermes boutique is because i don't really want to build a purchase history i like to only spend money on things that i really want or that i really like um and i just there's not enough stuff at Hermes that I really like. I like the orange sandals. Um, I like some of their other bags besides the Birkin and Kelly. Like I like the Bolide, like I like the Lindy. I like some of their other bags, but also like they sometimes want you to have a purchase history for that too. So I have seen some really beautiful home items from Hermes, but I'm not about to spend that much money like on home items. I've had an Hermes blanket before. I ended up selling it. I just didn't feel like it was worth it for a blanket. Um, but yeah, their home items, like I just is not something that I want to put money into. Um, same thing with their jewelry. I don't really like see a ton of things that I want. Like there's not enough in the store for me to feel like I could build a purchase history. So like I kind of feel like why start? Another reason, and this might just be, this might be just what I heard. This might not even be completely true. I don't know. This is just what I've heard. So the location that's near me, I live in Southern California. I live in Orange County and the closest mall to me within Hermes is uh, South Coast Plaza. I would say that South, South Coast Plaza is a pretty well-known mall just in general in the California area. From what I understand, since it's in Orange County, there's a lot of people there with a really long purchase history um, that come from like all over Orange County. So <laughs> it's also, I think, been there for quite a while. So like their customers, like history is just... It, it tends to be pretty long. So from what I heard, um, it's harder to get bags there. Please correct me. Like if you feel like that's not the case anymore or like that's not correct, let me know if you know anything about the South Coast Plaza location. But from what I understand, it can be harder to get bags there because the stock that they do have, like the inventory that they do have goes to customers who have been very long-standing customers. And there's just a lot of long-standing customers that go to that one. So 
that's what I heard. I don't know how true that is. Like, <laughs> but honestly, that kind of discouraged me a little bit from wanting to go and like try my luck there. Because the only way I'm doing it is if like I happen to want something at the boutique that I know that I can get and I go there to pick it up and like happen to talk to someone. I don't know. So that kind of made me feel like all right, that's even less of a chance. Like I didn't really want to go in the first place, but like now that's even less. Now the other reason, I tried to go to the Hermes store like last year, I think it was. I've tried actually a couple times to go and there's been a line every single time. And I stood in the line one time and I waited for like 15 minutes and the line didn't move. And I was like, well, I'm gonna leave. Like this is not for me. Um, I think that it depends on where you go. Like you might have a really welcoming and like warm and fuzzy type of vibe at a Hermes store that's near you. Um, it doesn't feel like that to me. So like I don't really feel like I want to go. Um, and to me like standing in line to try to make a relationship with somebody so that I can buy a bag. Like it doesn't appeal to me in that way. And so much respect for anybody who wants to do it, like who wants to go through that process because it can be really rewarding. It can be like, okay, well, you met your sales associate, you have a connection, you have a friend. Like it can be rewarding and positive, but like I think that the way that I'm viewing it, I just don't see, I just don't see that being something that I would enjoy or a process that I would really enjoy because the whole time I feel like I'm just trying to get something like, <laughs> and like obviously I'm going into a store, like yes, I'm trying to get something, but like I just... I don't think that I like the idea that it's a game. Like if you genuinely have a good connection with your sales associate, that's one thing that's totally different. But like I see people getting frustrated about not getting a bag and about like how much money they've spent. Like for example, with like purse, purse on fleeks video, like we all know that situation. Like I don't want to be that wrapped up into it. Like if it doesn't come naturally and it's not easy, if you're like, oh, I always go to the Hermes boutique at my mall, anytime I go to the mall, um, it's fun. I like to look at the stuff. I want to buy stuff like great. Cause that's a natural progression of like building a purchase history. But I feel like when you go in with the purpose to just get a Birkin or a Kelly or something like that, like if you go in with just that intention and you don't really like anything else that's there, you don't really want to buy anything else that's there, but you buy it so that you can be offered that bag. Like, I don't think that it's worth it. I just don't feel like it's worth it. It seems like a type of stress that I don't want. The other reason is because I'm very impatient. So part of the reason that I may not, it may not appeal to me to go and like build that relationship and do all that stuff is because I'm impatient. I am impatient. Like I, it, congratulations if you are a person that you can, that you can like, wait like a year, you can like wait like six months, you can go just see what happens, go with the flow. Like I'm not like that, I'm very impulsive and I like to do things like right when I think of them. And I'm like, okay, I gotta come up with a plan. All right, this is what I wanna do, this is what I'm looking for. And then as soon as I find it, I want it. So <laughs> that's kind of how I am. And I just, I think that that's also part of it. Like it could just be because I'm impatient and I tend to be impulsive. And so maybe that type of journey is just not for me. The other reason, I know I have a lot of reasons. Okay, so the other reason <laughs> is because I feel like you can get good deals pre-loved. So for me personally, I know that there are some people that like to buy bags that are just brand new. They're the only person that's ever touched them and they love that. And like more power to you because I get it. Like I could under, I could see that, like I get it. Um, but that's not me. Like I like that the bag has like a history to it. I like that it can be worn in. Like I like that I'll use it more because it already has like some scratches on it. The hardware is already like scratched. The stickers are already off. Like I like that. That makes me feel more comfortable with the bag and like I'm not gonna like ruin it. <laughs> um, so it makes me feel more comfortable carrying it. Also, I love getting a good deal. I just, it's like a thrill of getting a good deal. Like I love that. So I, like shopping pre-love because like sometimes you catch a price on a Birkin or a Kelly or something that is just like unreal and you're like oh my gosh that's amazing that's perfect like any Birkin or Kelly that I've had to this point has been either like right near the retail price or underneath it um or like a little bit above and that's my Birkin 25 that's the only one that was above and it was maybe more than a little bit above but yeah, I paid over retail for that one. So <laughs> that's the exception. But the other ones have either been around retail or below retail. Like I really try to shop for good deals. And I've been looking at the preload market for so long that I feel like I can identify what a good deal is. And it's fun and rewarding to me to go and like hunt for a good deal and to go and like wait until something really good comes up or wait until something goes on a deeper sale, like on Fashion File or on um, Rebag or The Real Real. So like that's part of the fun for me. And also I can get the bag a lot faster than if I'm to go, if I'm going to go 
and try my luck in the store. Maybe one day like I will go more frequently to the Hermes store but I don't at any point want to buy anything that I don't actually want. Um, and there are people there are tons of people who actually want the stuff that's in there and like great because that works out well for you because you're gonna naturally build that purchase history which I think is wonderful but I don't want to. <laughs> to be fair, to be completely fair, I don't really shop at any luxury boutiques. Like I go to the mall a decent amount but I don't go very often. Like I go to the mall maybe like five or six times a year. Like I really don't go all that often. When I go anything that has a line is usually out of the question. So like I don't go into Chanel because there's always a line to get into Chanel. And, and that's not a luxury experience for me. Like I want to go and have fun. Like usually if I go to the mall I'm like with someone else not by myself and I don't want to make them stand in a line that they don't want to stand in. Like <laughs> just so that I can go look at a bag that I'm not gonna buy. So it's not just Hermes. Like it's really most luxury stores. If there is something that I really, really want um, to go pick up, and I then I'll order it either online for pickup in store. That's my go-to for everything, not not just for luxury items, for everything. <laughs> um, or I will be like, okay, I happen to be at the mall. I'm gonna see if they have this. If there's no line, well, like, have you guys seen the lines like at Louis Vuitton and stuff? Like, is it like that where you are near your mall? Cause like last time I went to the mall, Louis Vuitton, the line was like wrapped around like the corner of the mall. Like I. What? I mean, maybe it's like a post 2020, pre 2020 type of thing, but like I remember going to the mall like five years ago and like you could just walk into whatever store that you wanted to walk into. Like it was not like this. So I really feel that way about every luxury store, to be honest, right now. I'm just more comfortable buying pre loved. I would rather sit here from the comfort of my own home and browse on the internet and figure out what bag I want and take as much time as I need to um, than to hope that I'm offered the bag that I want or then to go into like a Chanel boutique and then hope that they have the bag that I want. I also want to say that I think it's really cool when people do get bags from the boutique. Um, I love watching unboxing videos of like fresh brand new bags that like you've like waited a while for or like special orders that you waited a long time for. Like I think that that's beautiful. Like that's so cool. I love watching those videos. Like like I said, nothing against anybody who does participate. That's awesome too. Like that's what you like to do, so do it. Um, but I just don't feel like it's for me and those are the reasons why. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I kind of just wanted to sit down and talk and I'm thinking about doing more just like sitting down and talking videos um, just because I like to chit chat about bags. I like sharing some of my opinions and I would love if you share yours too in the comments and let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to come and join our little luxury family that we have here. We have a lot of fun. At least I feel like we do. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!